All right, good morning, everyone. Everyone at home, as well as everyone here. We are back in Easter Seals, live from our facility. So it is wonderful to have um, a couple participants here. I think what, we've got four, four current faces smiling at me. We might have a fifth joining us. Um, and hopefully all of you out at home are having a wonderful day. So um, I'll go ahead, jump right into the quote. It says, the gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trials. The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trials. And to me, that just means, right, we all have to go through a little bit of heat sometimes. And maybe that heat comes in the form of the year 2020. <laughs> Um, maybe that heat comes in the form of um, a more personal challenge or personal trial. And while it's not easy, it's, um, it's definitely challenging. It allows us to show our strength and to show our resilience, right? And they always say, what, what doesn't kill you, right? And when you come out the other side of it um, in whether it's that personal trial or the friction of the gem, you're normally coming out a little stronger or with a different perspective or a new resilience. And it's gonna look different for everyone, right? It's not a one size fits all, you go through this challenge and then, you know, this is what you look like or this is how your life turns out. Um, but it is the fact that we all have that ability within us to kind of let that diamond in the rough shine, right? So after the friction, after the heat, after the challenge, um, how do we come out of it? How do we come to the other side? So um, I like this because I think it's a good reminder that we all have that capability to, to come out the other side. Um, and it's just what we, what we choose to do with that friction, right? Are we, gonna, are we gonna burn up in that heat or are we going to turn around to that nice shiny gem and, um, and make the most of it? So hopefully you guys at home resonate with that. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that attitude as we go into Tuesday. We're going to keep the heat to a minimum with our gentle stretching. Um, but if you wanna come back for our afternoon class, we uh, definitely tend to pump up the heart rate and get a little sweatier. So that's true physical heat there. Um, but for today, we're going to stick with our stretches. We are going to move forward with our mindfulness. And um, yeah, we'll get this Tuesday going. You guys ready? All right, I'm getting thumbs ups and nods all around. So I'm taking that as my cue. So everyone at home, go ahead, join along with us. We're going to get to our starting position and we'll get going. All right. So everyone here, Everyone at home, go ahead, come to your starting position. Feet flat on the floor, have your knees bent, feel your hips heavy, rooted into the seat beneath you. Perfect, go ahead and lock those heels over there. Then feel your spine sit up nice and tall, lengthen through the top of your head. You can relax the shoulders down, and then we'll start as we always do with three deep breaths. I'll invite you to close the eyes here, and then inhale through the nose, pull the breath in, open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Good, inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands, exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one, deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. Go ahead, open those eyes. Come on back into the space that we are in. And we'll start with the stretches. So let's begin with our legs, our lower extremities here. So go ahead, take them straight out in front of you as best as you can. And then we'll start by pointing and flexing the feet. Good, so taking the ankles away from the body and then back towards, away and towards. Just start to get the energy flowing, get the blood moving. And as always, if you are unable to see physical motion in the body, whether it's one limb or a different posture, 
posture. I invite you to close the eyes. And see if you can watch as your body moves energetically. Good. And then keep that breath moving. Keep it slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. You're looking good. So good to be back here in this space with you guys. Masks and all. <laughs> All right, when you're done with that, keep those legs straight out in front of you, but you can rest your heels on the floor and then draw the toes back into the body. Take a breath in as you sit up nice and tall, and then we'll reach in the direction of our feet here. And maybe you end up at the toes, maybe you end up right about the shins, or even just above the knees. The important part is that you're feeling into your body, and allowing this stretch to come nice and easy. Start to notice what you feel on the back side of your legs here, maybe the calves or the hamstring. Maybe there's a difference from side to side or top to bottom, that's okay. There's no right or wrong with this. Just continue to breathe here in this posture. Smooth and steady. Maybe this is a little bit of the heat, right? Stretching can be a bit intense depending on how your body presents or what it feels like today. So just noticing what that feels like. And take a breath in here. Exhale, slowly, slowly come out back up. Nice job. Go ahead, bend the knees again. Let's come back to our starting position and we'll take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job. All right, guys, we're going to get into our hip adductors. So that's our inner thighs here. We're going to draw the knees in opposite directions here. So you're just gently stretching the inside of the thighs here. And now you can use the muscles of the legs to pull them apart. Or, if available, using a hand or maybe a forearm. And just offering a little extra pressure. Good, gentle stretch here. And then keeping that breath moving. And start to tune in. Notice if maybe your shoulders are crouched up or your jaw is tense. Maybe your toes are curled or your fist is clenched for no reason. Maybe acknowledge that and try to let it go. Good, take another deep breath in here. And exhale, we'll come on back to center. Draw those knees together again. Nice job. Come back to that starting position and we'll take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, let's get into the back side of our hips, right? So glute muscles, piriformis, all the rotators here. Come to your starting position. Feet flat, hips grounded, sit up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in, and we'll start with the right leg. So gently draw that knee into the chest here. Maybe get an easy squeeze into the torso. And if it feels okay, you can bring that leg over the opposite. Nice, and that just might change the direction of the pull of the muscle. So start to be aware of what's going on on the back side of this hip. What do you feel? What's showing up for you? And then keep breathing. Smooth and steady with the breath. Letting go of a little bit of tension with every out, out breath. Good. Take another inhale here. And then exhale slowly release. Let it go. Nice. Go ahead, we'll reset because then we're going to switch sides. So once again, sit up tall here, take a breath in, and then we'll bring our left knee up, switching sides. So either pulling it directly into the chest here, or you can cross it over the leg. And again, just a couple variations here, doing what feels good in your body this morning. Breathing into the back side of that left hip. Nice 
steady with the breath. Maybe deepening the stretch a little bit. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, slowly release, let it go. Nice job, you guys. Let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. You guys hanging in there? Doing good? All right, awesome. Hopefully everyone at home is doing the same. So we are done with the legs here. We're going to move into stretching our front here, getting into the spinal muscles. So again, return to that starting position. Feet flat, hips heavy, sit up nice and tall, feeling your spine get a little longer here. Take a breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to twist over to the right. Good. And then depending on what feels best in your body, maybe you take a hand grip either on the side or grab the chair behind you. And then just start to feel. Feel into the stretch. As you inhale, lengthen. Sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, gently deepen the twist. Moving into the stretch. Perhaps the gaze comes over the right shoulder. And just easing into it. Feeling into the muscles, allowing them to slowly soften. Good. Take another inhale here. And exhale slowly, slowly come on back to center. Nice job, you guys. We'll go ahead and do the other side. So once again, sit up nice and tall. And then exhale, twist over to the left this time. Good. Once again, taking the hand grip of your choice, wherever it feels best, maybe on your leg or maybe your chair. And then continue to breathe in as you lengthen, create space through the spine. And as you breathe out, gently move into the space created. Good. Relax the shoulders. Maybe bring the gaze over the left shoulder here. Nice job, you guys. Easing into the stretch, using the breath to soften. Take another inhale here. And exhale. Slowly come on back to center. Good. Let's take a breath here to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice. Now we're going to keep our legs exactly where they're at and just start to round forward. We're bringing our hands, maybe our head down towards the floor. The important part here is that you're feeling some kind of stretch in the low back. So we're opening up the lumbar spine here. You want to make sure you're nice and steady in the hips. And then also make sure there's no compression or restriction of the breath. If there is, just back off a little bit. You can even bring your elbows to the knee. Just bending in a position that feels good and relaxed for you. If you want to continue releasing the spine all the way over, you can. Feel free to explore that. But just make sure the breath continues to move smooth and steady wherever you're Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here. And then exhale slowly, 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 slowly start to come on back up to seated. Good. Give yourself a minute here. Let everything resettle. Let the blood pressure restabilize. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. It's always important to come up pretty slowly from that one. Anytime your head is upside down, you might get a little bit of head rush. So just monitoring if you get a little lightheaded in your gait. Okay? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and move into stretching the front of our body. So once again, come to your starting position. Sit up nice and tall. And then we've got a couple options here. You can start by just squeezing your shoulder blades together. Feel your elbows pulling towards one another on the back body. And that should open up the front of the chest here, broadening the collarbone. Good. And then a couple options, depending on the height of your chair, you can take your spine up and over, 
And then maybe allow the arms to open to the side. Just releasing everything here on the front of the body, feeling into the abdomen, the pecs, all around the throat. Keep that head gently lifted. You don't want to restrict any blood flow. And then just continue to breathe. Expanding with every inhale and watching as the tissues soften and relax on the exhale. Good. Keep the breath moving, slow and steady. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here and exhale slowly, slowly. Come on back up. That one always feels good. I feel like we spend so much time hunched over, whether we're on the computer or reading or just slouching. <laughs> Everything tends to pull forward, so it's really nice to open up the front of the chest here. All right, let's take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, we are done with the trunk, so we're gonna move into our arms and our upper extremities here. So, come to that starting position. We're going to work on flexion here at the shoulder. So, that's essentially taking this arm up and away from the body. Yep, now you can do it with one hand just like that, or you have a couple other options. If you want to take your fingers in between one another, maybe cupping over one another, or assisting one hand. As you breathe in, gently lift those arms up. Good. Make sure your hips are rooted, legs are heavy, and lengthen the spine as you gently lift those arms up and away from the torso. Good. And then continue moving the breath. Nice. That's a perfect variation. Awesome, Steve. Good. Keep the breath moving here. If there's any pain, just back off a little bit, right? We don't want to force it to the point of any new injury. So then just wherever you're at, feel into that sensation. If you need to back off a little bit, go ahead. But then if it feels okay, head back into that stretch, moving with the breath, moving gently. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath going, slow and steady. Take another inhale here and maybe stretch a little higher. Maybe lift those arms up a little more. Keep the breath moving. And then when you're ready, slowly, 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 slowly come on down. Good. You definitely want to release that nice and easy because you don't want anything to like jar or tear on its way down. So nice and slow with that. Really good variation. All right, let's go ahead and take a breath to reset. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Nice job, you guys. All right, I am going to turn to the side so I can show the audience at home. But for all of you guys here, if you want to bring your hands to a flat surface. Good. So if you're at home and you don't have a table or a flat surface, you can just use an imaginary surface. And what we're doing here is gently drawing our arms up and away from the body, and that's taking the shoulder blades up and around the rib cage here, right? So these are our scapular thighs. So breathing as you pull your hands up and away from your torso. And if you need to feel the difference, squeeze the shoulder blades together, bring them to the middle of your back, and then pull them away from Good. As you keep bringing those hands away from the body, breathing easy, feeling just a little motion, but it allows for a lot of motion in the body. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving here. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, let go of any tension. Take another breath in. And then exhale. Oh. How's that feel, okay? <laughs> nice job. All right, I'm going to go ahead 
turn and face the audience at home again. All right, one last one for our arms. So we're going to stretch into the back of the shoulders here. So come to your starting position. Have your feet flat. Lift your spine up. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath in. And then we'll start with the right arm. Bring it up and across the body here. Good. Yep, and we've got a couple options. Perfect, Carol. Option number one is just reaching. Option number two is grabbing a hold of the other shoulder. And then option number three is using the other hand to gently pull that arm into a little hug across the body. Nice. Yeah, perfect. So that's just going to give you a little support. Now gently tug on that shoulder and then see if you feel something in the back side of your right arm. Yeah, it just gives you a little resistance for a good stretch. Perfect. Nice job, you guys. Keep the breath moving. Slow and steady here. Take another inhale. And then exhale slowly, slowly. Let that arm go. Awesome job. All right. Uh, switching sides. Take another breath in. Sit up tall. And then we'll bring our left arm up and across. So again, same options. Option number one is just reaching away from the body. Option number two, bring that hand to the shoulder for a little support. And option number three is bringing that hand, yep, just like that. Assisting the other arm across the body. Good, you guys, you look great. Keep that breath moving. Again, there shouldn't be any pain or any forcing, so just listen to your body, honor what it's telling you, and keep the breath moving. Mm. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale here, and then exhale, slowly, slowly release, come on down. So good. All right, we made it to my favorite part, shoulder rolls. So go ahead, draw those shoulders up, and down. Up and down. I feel like it's like a mini self massage almost. Any extra bit of tension in the shoulders or the upper arm bones? Maybe going forward as well as backward. Good. Alternate side to side if you want. Just really release any extra bit of tension. Nice job, you guys. All right, go ahead, come on back to that starting position. Hips heavy, feel your legs rooting down to the floor. Then feel your spine get nice and long from hips to head. Lengthen up, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, we'll drop the right ear down to the right shoulder. Good, and really try to keep your face forward, but then go to the side. If it feels okay, you can close the eyes. Just allowing the left side of the neck to gently stretch open here. Allowing the weight of the head to pour over towards the floor as you breathe into the neck. Watching and feeling as the muscles soften and begin to stretch away from one another. Nice job, you guys. Smooth and steady breath here. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, gently come on back through center. Nice job. Go ahead, bring that head back in line with the spine, and we'll switch sides. So sit up nice and tall, take a breath in. And as you exhale, drop the left ear to the left shoulder this time. Good. Once again, closing the eyes if that feels good. Letting gravity gently drop down on the weight of the head. And then breathing, <coughs> breathing into the right side of the neck, allowing the muscles to soften and melt around the bones. 
to make small circles with the head and the neck here. Watching and feeling as the stretch moves through all corners of the cervical spine. Making sure to switch directions as you're ready. Reversing the rotation. Evening out the stretch here. Good. Feeling into your body, moving the breath. When you're ready, come on back through center. Bring the head back in line with the spine. Sit up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders down. Feel your legs heavy, but your spine long and lifted. And we'll finish just as we started with three deep breaths. I invite you to close the eyes here as we inhale through the nose, pull the breath in, open mouth, exhale, let the breath go. Inhale through the nose, belly fills, chest expands. Exhale, open mouth, let it all go. Last one. Deep breath in, and a slow breath out. Nice job, you guys. As you're ready, blink those eyes back open. Come on, back into the space that we're in. And that is our stretches, my friends. Nice job. Guys doing okay? Awesome. Thank you at home if you guys are out there joining. Um, we are going to get set up for mindfulness, so hold tight and um, we'll finish up. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is what I get when I come back in person. I get some Arsenio Hall chants. We got some applause. This is way different than doing it at the house. If you want, yeah, it's okay for the mindfulness part. Got a whole supporting cast here. We got lights being oh, turned off. Yeah. It's nice, man. We gotta get into this mindfulness. Thanks, Jess. <sighs> All right. Look at so we got Colorado Rockies. We got Broncos. This is backwards. We got Broncos. <laughs> and then seriously, who's the Chiefs? Why do we got that? What's going on? I know. Boo. They're not here right now. We'll have to take it down. <laughs> you guys are out there watching. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Get reset. Mm. What are you doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, that's good. That's a start, right? All right, you guys. For everyone at home... We're going to just get set up over here. We've got our own little in-house banter happening, which, like I said, is way more exciting than when I'm just at home talking to myself in the computer. I mean, I tend to laugh at my own jokes, but it's nice to have another chuckle or two. <laughs> All right, so we are going to get the meditation set up. And we will continue, for those of you at home and all of you guys here, what we did yesterday was called a progressive muscle relaxation. So the idea behind it is that we will go through the body, starting at the feet, ending up at the head, and we will focus on different parts of the body by activating and squeezing those muscles and really engaging them, feeling the tension, feeling the tightness, and then practicing letting go. Right, And so the idea behind it is that oftentimes stress, anxiety, worry, all this mental chatter will manifest physically in our body in the form of tightness or clenched muscles or maybe our shoulders hike up or our jaw is tense without even realizing. So the idea behind this is that we will actively engage those muscles feel them tighten, feel what that feels like, acknowledge it, and then practice trying to release and let it go. 
so that then you can take this practice into kind of everyday life. So if there's something that triggers you or triggers your muscles, you can start to become aware of what that actually feels like. And then you can work on trying to release and soften even outside of your meditation practice, right? It's always easy when we've got good music and the lights are down, but when we're in real life settings, can we bring that practice into it, right? Okay. So for those of you at home and for everyone here, I will guide you through. You can stay if you want, or you can, you don't have to stay. Yeah. We were doing another 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. No worries. It's all good. Um, and same with those of you at home. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. <laughs> you can walk away from the computer. That's fine. But um, I will guide you guys in and out of this. Um, we will have a timer. We'll hear the starting bell. And then I will give you the verbal guidance. Um, if for some reason it seems a little challenging or if you're kind of like, whatever, Marianne, I just want to breathe for the next 20, 30 minutes, that's okay. So what you do with this time is your own. Um, all that I ask is if you are coming to the practice, if you are joining us out there, that you show up, right? Come without expectations, allow yourself to be present, and just let whatever happens, happens. So go ahead, come and find a nice, comfortable position. For those of you here, we're going to be seated in the chairs we just did our stretching in. If you're at home, you can either be seated in your chair or lying down if that's safe and comfortable. And then just start to ease into this position. Maybe take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> Letting everything start to settle. Maybe release any tension in the physical body. Allow the mental chatter to subside. <sighs> Again, for the next several minutes, I invite you to simply arrive. Allow yourself to show up to this present moment and to just be. Allowing yourself the chance to let go of any external distraction or any distracting chatter. And just start to tune in to right now. If you haven't already, I invite you to close the eyes. Close the eyes and allow your focus, allow your attention to turn inside. With eyes closed, allow yourself to see yourself, visualizing you as you are in this moment. From head to toe, side to side, front to back, inside to out. Acknowledging your entire being, both physical and energetic. as you sit in this moment. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. And know that at any point throughout this practice, if your mind wanders 
or your thoughts get distracted, or you get interrupted from focus, that's okay. Our minds are meant to think, they're meant to process, they're meant to problem solve. So just notice it, acknowledge it, but then allow yourself the chance and the opportunity to come back. Come back to right now. Come back to this present moment. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. With your eyes still closed, as you're ready, bring all your awareness down into your feet. Feeling your toes and the bottom of your feet and the heels wrapping all the way up and around to your heels and your ankles. And then start to engage the feet. Feel the toes curl under, clenching the muscles in the sole of the foot here, squeezing everything in, tightening muscles to bone, engaging everything for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing those muscles. Sensing the wave of relaxation. And just noticing. Noticing the difference. Noticing the feel of ease. As you're ready, draw that attention up out of the feet, coming into the calves and the shins. Bringing your awareness to the entire lower half of your leg. All the space between your ankles and your knees, the muscles, the tissues, the bones, feel into everything and then start to engage. Tightening the calf muscles, feeling into the gastroc and the soleus, the muscles in the front, your tibialis anterior. Getting everything to activate and engage, squeeze all muscles into bone for five, Four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the holding, releasing the tension. Noticing the difference between stress and ease. Continuing to move up the leg, coming out of the shin and calves, crossing over the knee and coming into your thighs. Feeling the tops of your thighs and the quadriceps and the back of your thighs and the hamstrings. Feel everything from your knees to your hips and start to engage those muscles, squeezing the thighs, activating your quads and your hamstrings, tightening everything in. Feeling those muscles activate here for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the muscles. Letting go of the holding, letting go of the tension. And just acknowledging, acknowledging the difference in sensation. When you're ready, continuing to move the awareness up out of the legs, coming into the hips and the glutes, into the pelvis, wrapping your awareness all the way around the pelvic bowl here. Feeling the tops of your hip points down to the pelvic floor. Feeling from the front to the back of the tailbone and all the muscles in between. And then squeezing those muscles, engaging the glutes, engaging the hip muscles, feeling the low belly pull in, tighten everything here for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the holding, 
Just engaging the muscles, allowing them to soften. And just for a moment, bring your attention and awareness back down through the legs, into the calves and down to the feet. And just noticing, noticing what the lower half of your body feels like here. Many parts, but one whole half. Sensing and feeling into the muscles of the legs and the hips and the feet. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. Continuing to remember that if any point you get distracted, or your mind wanders, or your thoughts run away from you, that's okay. Just acknowledge, notice where they went, and then practice letting them go. Practice coming back to this moment, being right here, right now in the present. Take a soft breath in and a soft breath out. As you're ready, bring your awareness back into the body, feeling into the trunk here, noticing from hips to shoulders, everything in your torso here. And bring all of your awareness to the front of your body. Feel into the abdomen, all the muscles in the front of the ribs, your chest muscles, the pecs, all the way up to the collarbone. And then as you're ready, start to engage, maybe rounding forward gently as you squeeze the low belly, the mid belly, feeling into your chest, pulling your shoulders in towards one another, squeezing everything here, engaging the muscles for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the belly, letting it soften, allowing the pec muscles to ease up. And just feeling, once again, feeling the difference between engagement and stress, and relaxing releasing. When you're ready, draw your awareness around to the back side of your body, feeling all the way from your tailbone and the base of the spine up through your back in between your shoulder blades, coming up to the neck and feeling just at the base of the head, feeling into your lumbar and your thoracic, and even your cervical spine, and then start to engage all the muscles in the back body. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, maybe pulling the heart forward, engaging everything behind you here, squeezing those muscles for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Releasing the tension. Releasing the holding. Feeling the wave of relaxation wash down your back. Noticing the difference from when you're clenching and tightening the muscles, to when you're softening and letting them release. As you're ready, bring your awareness up out of the torso and coming into the arms, traveling down the arms, past the elbows, coming into the hands, the fingers, feeling the palm of your hand and the back of your hand, wrapping your awareness around each one of your fingers. 
And then start to engage those muscles, clenching the fists, activating the fingers here, pulling everything in, tightening your hands into tiny little balls here, squeezing the muscles in for five, four, three, two, one, and let go. Feeling those muscles soften. Feeling the tension ease. <sighs> Noticing what it feels like when your body relaxes. Pulling your awareness up out of your hands and into your forearms. Feeling the space between your wrists and your elbows. Activating all the muscles all the way around your forearm bones here. And then squeezing them in. Tightening the muscle to bone. Engaging all of those tissues here. For five, four, three, two, one. And let go. Allowing the muscles to soften. Feeling the sensation of relaxation. As you're ready, moving your awareness up out of your forearms and into your upper arm bones. Feeling from your elbow points up into the shoulders, your biceps, your triceps, all the muscles of the deltoids. Feeling those activate and starting to engage them. Pull the muscle into bone, squeezing everything here in the upper arm bone for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Relaxing the biceps, relaxing the triceps. Feeling ease in the shoulders. And just for a moment, once again, noticing the entire length of your arm, from your shoulder points down to your fingertips, feeling the heaviness and the sense of ease, relaxation. As you're ready, drawing your awareness up out of your arms, coming back into midline, feeling into the shoulders and the traps and the muscles all the way around the neck, and then start to activate, maybe hiking the shoulders up, feeling the muscles of the cervical spine engage, squeezing your trap muscles in, tightening everything in your neck and shoulders here for five, four, three, two, one and let go. Releasing the shoulders down. Feeling the weight of the tissues wash down towards the floor. Maybe noticing a sense of lightness. As you're ready, continue moving up out of the neck and bringing all your awareness around the skull, both inside and out, feeling at the base of the skull, right at your occiput, wrapping around the ears and the jaw bones, feeling in the mouth, the cheeks, your nose, sensing your forehead and your brow, and then feeling all the way through the hairline and then start to engage. Squeezing your eyes nice and tight, scrunching your nose, furrowing your brow, clenching the jaw, feel all the muscles of the head and the face engage here, tightening everything in towards the center for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Noticing the muscles as they soften and relax. 
Feeling the difference between tension and ease. A soft breath in and a soft breath out. Take another soft breath in and a soft breath out. If you wish, we have one more opportunity to engage everything. From head to toe, acknowledging your body as one whole being. Start to engage all the muscles of the skull and the neck and the shoulders, down the arms, into the fingers, clenching your fists, feel your trunk engage, squeezing your belly, squeezing the back, down the legs, into the feet. Engage all of your muscles here from head to toe for five, four, three, two, one, and release. Letting everything go. Sensing the relaxation. Maybe feeling a sense of lightness wash all the way down your body. The stress washes out of your tissues, out of your muscles. Just sitting with this sense of relaxation. Take a soft breath in. And a soft breath out. A soft breath in. And a soft breath out. If you wish to stay here, Sensing into this place of ease, feeling into your body as it sits relaxed, free of tension, free of stress. By all means, please do so. Otherwise, as you're ready, slowly begin to blink the eyes open. Coming back into the space that you're in. Maybe taking a few deep breaths here. Returning to a place of awareness with eyes open while at the same time feeling into your body, feeling into the place of relaxation. Maybe take a couple more deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. I don't know about you guys at home, but I think I have successfully put everyone into a deep state of relaxation over here. <laughs> Eyes are slowly, slowly opening. <laughs> hmm. As always, thank you guys so, so much for joining us. Oh, we even have a few couple of big yawns over here. <laughs> We're slowly waking up. For those of you at home, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. To all of you guys here, thank you so much. Thank you for participating. We appreciate the opportunity to continue to connect with you guys, even when you're not here in person with us. So thank you, thank you so much. Got a few more yawns still happening. <laughs> um, we will be back this afternoon.
with our strength and endurance class at 1.30, um, rehabilitative strengthening. Hopefully you guys join us for that. You'll definitely not fall asleep during that class, I promise you that. Otherwise, we will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. for another session of morning mindfulness. Hopefully we see you guys for at least one of those classes. Uh, either way, have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, continue to take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Thank you guys, and we'll see you again.